Details now on a cold case, a potential break in a missing person case from back in 2010. Police today searching a field in Miami Gardens. CBS 4's Joe Murray is there live with the latest information for us. Joan? Well, the search for Linda Meyer has always concentrated on this area, Miami Gardens, near Northwest 215th Street, because it's believed that is the last place she was before she disappeared. Well, yesterday, investigators were led to this field behind us. Night has fallen, so you can't see as well, but they believe they may have solved her disappearance. She was just a, a giving, loving, Person. Not a day has gone by Sharon Solano doesn't think about her best friend Linda Meyer. She's kept a picture of Meyer on her wall since Meyer disappeared eight years ago. This today was like a punch in the nose. Like I, I'm still like at a loss for words and thought. Solano at once heartbroken and shocked to learn investigators have found skeletal remains in a wooded area near the turnpike, which could turn out to be Linda Meyer. I don't know how anybody would want to hurt her. Like, I don't understand, you know, and whoever did, if, if this is her, I would personally want to ask this person, like, why, you know, why? Surveillance captured Meyer leaving her Hallandale Beach condo the morning of June 4, 2010. She was seen withdrawing money from an ATM, but then she vanished. Her red Cadillac Escalade was found abandoned in Opalaka days later. Over the years, searches for Meyer's remains were made in different sections of Miami Gardens. If we have to dig every piece of dirt, and and sift through every piece of ground until we find Linda Meyer, that's what we'll do. Police have named Meyer's friend Antoine Kennedy and his friend Dallas King as persons of interest in Meyer's disappearance, though neither has been charged. Solano, a hairstylist who pioneered extensions, says Meyer always wore hair extensions and the plastic attachment pieces are indestructible. It may be a valuable clue that could connect Meyer to this painful discovery. I pray to God, whatever happened, that she didn't suffer. Now, the remains will be taken in for analysis. That could take days, even weeks, to determine the identity of this person and then how they died. And based on that is how police will proceed with this investigation. In Miami Gardens tonight, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.